my name's Loretta Newby Coker, and uh, I do all kinds of artwork. I, I've been doing the stained glass mosaics for about three years now, and before that I've done uh, scrimshaw and paintings, uh, watercolor and oil, and lots of wood block prints, and uh, Oh, I like doing this one that I just came up with recently, and it's called, I call it crazy art anyways, because it, I draw with a, an ink pen, and then just wherever my, uh, my wrist turns, that's where I go, and anyways, and then I, uh, I color it in with either partial watercolor and, or colored pencil, and leave some of it just the ink. Oh, I teach art. I'm very thankful for my job. I uh, teach middle school students and, and then also whenever any of my grandkids come over uh, and my mom and my sister, they come over and we do art. So art's my life. <laughs> so, uh, Well, one thing is uh, when I never really thought much about becoming an artist, I, it was just a part of me, I guess. And uh, I do remember when I was in elementary school uh, getting in trouble, uh, the teacher uh, getting a hold of the, uh, my mom and saying that I daydream and I draw all the time. So anyways, and my mom really never discouraged it. So uh, nonetheless, so I didn't really any one particular time decide to. Okay, it was funny at school, there was uh, one of the aides at school for another teacher, she came in and she said that her mother had uh, stopped doing her artwork and she had these little bitty tiny squares of mo glass and, and she says perhaps you can use some in the class. Well, I've never used the glass before and so I thought you got to be familiar with it yourself, of course. And so then I started uh, just messing around and, and I used those few pieces that she had, a little container. And, and then I uh, just started going out and buying glass and also go taking grandkids and family members and going down to uh, railroad tracks, old buildings, you find all kinds of cool glass. And then going up to uh, camping and everything up in Colorado and way up high, you know, 14,000 feet on the mountains, there's all kinds of uh, old mines and such and of course people didn't recycle the glass so anyways you find lots of broken glass real thick glass so i tell you what it's like every single year i enter the uh, choctaw art show because i just want to be part of it so i feel extremely proud and i tell my students at school uh, that i'm choctaw of course i've got stuff all over the classroom and such and and uh anyways and they think it's pretty cool that uh i tell them different stories and then uh and, and then, of course, I've got lots of examples of artwork, not just my Native American art, but I've got friends that uh, I've swapped artwork with them for them. So anyway, so they've got lots of examples at work, and I'm just proud to be chalked off.